Hello people, Watchman Blows the Horn here. Um, hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are keeping strong and keeping faith. Um, hope you guys are excited. Yeah, I know I know there's some challenging times ahead, but um, the Lord's got us. You know, he, He's left us here for um, a reason. He knows that we can handle what's coming. Think about it. You know, the, the Lord's not cruel. He's a good God. He's a kind God. So if he's left you here for such a time as this, it's because he has an assignment for you and it's because he knows that you can handle it. Okay? Now he needs you to terroir. He needs you to blow the horn. He needs you to shout. He needs you to tell the whole world that he's almost here. He needs you to bring in the harvest. Because the world doesn't want you to terroir. They don't want you to terroir. So, on the 20th uh, slash 21st of January um, 2019 was Tubi Shavat. And what's Tubi Shavat, you might ask? The new year of the trees. New year of the trees. Trees have a new year. Yes, they do. And there's a reason. So, that's the equivalent of the 14th of Shabbat, the month of Shabbat, 5779. Okay? Now, Ola refers to a biblical prohibition. And Leviticus 19 verse 23 on eating the fruit of trees produced during the first three years after they are planted okay uh, Netta Ravi'i uh, Ravai refers to the biblical commandment Leviticus 19 verse 24 to bring the fourth year fruit crops to Jerusalem as a tithe so you're not supposed to um, touch the trees for three years you're not supposed to touch uh, um, have any of the fruit and then the fruit uh, on the fourth year is brought into Jerusalem. Okay, so could this um, be indicative of um, where we are? Okay, because on the 21st of January 2019, uh, there was a lunar eclipse. Okay. Uh, so this this is happening at the same time as as um, to be Shabbat, the new year of the trees in 2019. Okay, and this lunar eclipse was predominantly over the Americas. Okay. Now, the interesting thing is when this lunar eclipse happened, a rabbi in Israel issued a warning. Uh, rabbi Yekatel Fish, um, lunar eclipse sign Jews must leave diaspora. So. Um, this rabbi uh, basically saw this lunar eclipse as a uh, harbinger okay, of uh, terrible things to come. So this was basically a warning issued by the Lord. And he issued this warning on the new year of the trees. Okay, Now remember, human beings are like trees. You know, um, you know we're supposed to bear fruit. Okay, so... Um, this basically um, was happening around the same time, the equivalent of the same time that Zechariah got his vision in the book of Zechariah chapter 1. So on the 24th day of the 11th month, which is the month of Shabbat, in the second year of uh, uh, Darius, the word of the Lord came to Zechariah, the son of Barakiah, the son of Edo, the prophet. Okay? Now Z D Darius and this would be equivalent to Donald Trump. Okay, and now this was also happening uh, the, uh, during the second year of Donald Trump's reign. Donald Trump was inaugurated on the 20th of January um, 2017. Okay, and this is taking place um, on the 20th of January 2019. Okay, so I saw by night and behold a man riding a red horse and it stood among the myrtle trees in the hollow and behind him were horses red sorrel and white okay then i said my lord what are these so the angel who talked with me said to me i will show you what they are and the man who stood among the myrtle trees answered and said these are the ones whom the lord has sent to walk to and fro throughout the world i mean so sorry throughout the earth so they answered the angel of the Lord who stood among the myrtle trees and said, We have walked to and fro throughout the earth, and behold, all the earth is resting 
quietly. Okay, Zechariah chapter 1 verse 11. Okay, so basically Zechariah has this vision which happens on uh, the equivalent of the 30th of January 2019 which was 10 days after the um, lunar eclipse which was a warning. Uh, so Zechariah has this vision and the red, the red horse is standing by a myrtle tree. Now note, a myrtle tree is different from the fig tree. The fig tree is Israel. Okay, so what's the myrtle tree? What does the myrtle tree stand for? Okay, so um, the 24th of Shabbat uh, was the date, it's 30th of January 2019. We have gone throughout the earth and found the whole world at rest and in peace. Zechariah 1. So, Hadassah, okay, is the church. Vashti is Israel. Remember the story of Esther? Remember that Vashti was proud when the king sent for her and she rejected the king? And because of that, the king divorced her and the king took another bride, remember? So that, that's basically speaking of what happened between the Lord and Israel. Um, the, the Israel had been given an assignment by God and they didn't do that assignment. And when their Lord came to them, uh, they rejected the Lord. And the Lord said, see, your, your, your house is left to you desolate. The Lord took his spirit away from the temple and basically blinded Israel and divorced her, okay? And took another bride, okay? He, he put his spirit in the church at Pentecost, okay? It's when the church became the new bride, Hadassah. Now, incidentally, the name Hadassah means myrtle tree and is of Hebrew origin. In the Bible, Hadassah was the name of Esther before she married King Ahasuerus of Persia. So you see, um, the, the, the red horse standing by the myrtle trees, it's, they're basically telling you that the red horse was standing by the church, okay, in January 2019, um, basically saying to the church, what are you doing? Inspecting the church to see if they had any fruit on them, to see if they were doing what they, were, they should have been doing. Look, the, the, the warning was, look, church this is the end of the age you guys should be about the father's business what are you doing this is a wake-up call wake up and the jews saw this sadly the church didn't okay so the year the, the year 2019 well went by and then we came to the fall feasts okay and of course um uh, elul the month of elul the king was in the field you know I am my beloved, my beloved's mind. The king was asking, my beloved, what are you doing? Where are you? Where, where, are you working the fields? Why aren't you working the fields? Why aren't you bringing in the harvest? I need you to bring in the harvest because I'm almost here. I'm on my way. And when I get back, I'm, I'm, I want to gather all the sheaves and put them into the barn. And then everything left will be gleanings. So what are you doing? My love, my church. Where are you? What are you doing? Are you bringing in the harvest? Okay? So the bride should be bringing in the harvest. The, the, the bride should be working the fields. The month of Elul. Okay, so Elul 2019. You know, 5779. The king was asking, Where are you? Okay? As Elul represents the harvest. Elul means harvest okay and 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 my beloved should be working my harvest because if, if if i am my beloved's and my beloved is mine then my beloved should love me and if she loves me she'll be telling everyone about me she'll be telling everyone that i'm coming back and that'll increase the harvest so my beloved where are you what are you doing what are you doing so the lord was basically saying make teshuvah return to me return to me my my church my bride and do the work do the work bring in the harvest because there's no time we're at the end of the age okay this is what this is the message of 2019 and of course the court came into session on the first of tishri okay where the horn is is blown and god has gone up with a shout the Lord with the sound of the trumpet because at the sound of the trumpet on Tishri the Lord enters the courtroom and he sits as judge and then for the next 10 days he judges his people and he judges the world and then on Yom Kippur judgment is passed okay so 
the Lord went into the courtroom 2019 trumpets and and for the next 10 days he he judged the the world and his people okay now the shofar is blown in various instances during the Rosh Hashanah prayers with a total of a hundred blasts over the day while the blowing of the shofar is a biblical statute it is also a symbolic wake-up call stirring Jews or the church to mend their ways and repent the shofar blast call call out sleepers wake up from your slumber so wake up that's what the Lord is saying when you hear the blast of the shofar the Lord is saying go out make troah shout the Lord is on his way he's coming on this day ritual trumpet blast signify the issuance of revelation and a call for Israel or the church to gather for God's word of redemption set at the time of Israel's final agricultural harvest the day also symbolizes the Lord's final harvest of souls which is exactly where we are now so everything that was happening in 2019 was just a preparation because we were, were getting closer to the end of the age so what happened after um, Yom Kippur 2019 obviously you see because the world has been rejecting the Lord they've been they're changing the laws they're changing God's laws they are they are accepting other laws okay so um, the, Satan uh, now has legal right he's, he's getting closer to that point where he has legal right because as they reject the father they're accepting Satan so Satan is acquiring legal rights to the world so God has no choice but to hand the world over to Satan okay and you see because and basically God wants the, the the church to be shouting at the top of their lungs you know that this is what's about to happen this the harvest okay and also the the, the restrainer has to be taken because the world is rejecting God lawlessness everywhere you know they're changing the laws lawlessness everywhere so on Yom Kippur 2019 uh, Yom Kippur uh, 5780 uh, yeah judgment was passed and when judgment was passed what happened to the world after Yom Kippur the year 5780 this happened to the world remember yeah because gradually the Lord is handing the world over to the one they want you see they are rejecting God and they've accepted the other side so God is a gentleman he he's going to hand them over to the one they want but before he hands them over completely to the one they want he has to gather his sheaths into the barn now he can't gather the sheaths into the barn if the workers don't work the fields you see the church you are the workers of God we are the workers of God and what we should be doing now is working the fields telling as many people as possible that he's coming we're at the end of the age okay so they don't want you to troah that is the reason why is it a coincidence that you know after after uh, Yom Kippur 5780 when the Lord was basically saying troah you know shout and tell the world that I'm on my way that we basically get a gag order okay everyone is gagged the churches are broken up told not to um not to worship told told that they can't gather social distancing why do you think that is it's spiritual because they know what god is saying god is saying bring in the harvest 
so the world wants to stop the church from bringing the harvest okay and the church is asleep the church can't see the church can't see they don't want you to terroir so you need to do the exact opposite because the exact opposite is what the Lord wants you to do they want to gag you that's what they want because they don't want you telling people that soon the beast is coming and when he arrives everyone left will be enslaved apart from the Jews because then God turns back to the Jews because the age of the Gentile would have closed now isn't it funny that during 2020 and the population of the world hit 7 billion 777 million 777,777 completion the, the world has hit completion the, 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 the age of the Gentiles it's up okay the harvest is is this is the this is the final push the final stages of the harvest the Lord of the harvest is about to come and gather his harvest into into his barn so of course since then the world has basically been gagged okay especially since the the around the around March uh, 2020 and there's a reason for that because the end of the age basically started around on March the 20th of 2020 okay so now 2020 has gone by and now we're, we're in Elul again okay we're at the four feasts and the Lord is asking again where is my bride where is the church what are you doing are you bringing in the harvest do you realize what time it is do you realize it's the end of the age my beloved where are you I need you to work the fields I need you to bring in the harvest I need you to terroir I need you to terroir I need you to shout where is my bride the bride should be bringing in the harvest it's Elul that's what the Lord is saying because now you see as the world rejects God and God hands the world over to the enemy gradually his judgment must also come and that's what we're witnessing the wildfires with the hurricanes with the earthquakes with everything because as the rebellion rises God's judgment falls and that's why the bride needs to terroir and that's why there is a growing hatred for the bride because because they don't want to see the bride they don't because they're they're in rebellion you, you see it's not about oh I'm an agnostic I don't know no 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 they, these people have taken sides Luciferians people who worship Satan they've taken sides so they know who they they know God exists but they believe that their God is the right one so the lines have been drawn so my bride where are you where are you and of course Elul means harvest so my beloved where are you the Lord is crying my beloved where are you the Lord is saying make Teshuvah return to me and do the work if you love me you tell people about me a bride Who's waiting for his her, her bridegroom is absolutely besotted and she can't she can't do but tell everyone around her that that her Lord is coming is that what the church is doing are we absolutely besotted by the Lord and proclaiming him everywhere so Yom Teruah at the shofar blast the Lord will go into the court and bring the courts into session and he will judge the bride as well as the world 
and something tells me the judgment's coming after this after this Yom Kippur won't be pleasant at all based on the word of God now let's look at the numbers for the year that we're about to go into the Jewish year 5781 so 5 represents the millennium 7 represents the, the century 8 represents the decade 1 represents the year so we're not interested in the millennium or the or the century even though if you look at it 5 means that we're in the millennium of grace 7 means we're in the De, um, century of of uh, warfare uh, Zion okay 8 means we're in the um, 8 means we're in the uh, decade of separation okay and of course 1 means it's the decade of the Lord but now we're just going to take um, the decade and the um year so the decade is 80 okay and the year is one so 80 is pay and pay is mouth okay speaking terua <laughs> isn't that interesting so basically the year we're about to enter is the year of terua this is the year that we need to shout at the top of our lungs the lord is coming okay because this is the year that the Lord will speak okay because one is the Lord Aleph the strong one being yoked to the Lord so basically 81 is saying this is the year we will hear the Lord speak okay the Lord shall come down with the voice of an archangel yeah, and the dead in Christ will rise and we who are alive shall be caught up and we will always forever be with the Lord that's what the numbering of this 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 year Gimatria of this year is saying 5781 it's saying that this is the year that the Lord will speak okay and if we look at um, 5781 if we add all, all the numbers together it gives us 21 which is the same as 2021 so um, as, as, as I said we're interested in the decade and the year so we take the two and the one so the two stands for house or God's house God's family okay and the one starts stands for God the ox the strong one being yoked to the Lord so so basically 2021 is the year that the Lord's family will be yoked to the Lord will be joined to the Lord what does that sound like the rapture 2021 it's the rapture that's why the Lord wants us to turn war because in 2021 this will occur I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth Psalm uh, 121 see Psalm 121 1 and 2 Psalm of ascent the rapture rescue will take place on the day of ascension Yom Ha Aliyah 23rd of March 2021 okay the day the harvest is brought in so the Lord is saying you know work the harvest quickly because things once again the Lord is going to pass judgment Ten days of awe, the world will be judged, and on Yom Kippur, judgment will be passed. The Yom Kippur, the door of the day of atonement, the tent of Tishri, five um, seven eight one. That's a mistake. Um, which falls on the twenty seventh slash twenty eighth of September, twenty twenty. This is the day judgment will be passed. And something tells me that um, the judgment that will be passed this year will be severe. It will be severe. 
because once again the Lord will further hand the world over to the enemy and the enemy's plan is to bring war the enemy's plan is a harvest of his own that's why God is saying terroir terroir there's no time because the enemy is about to engage he's about to bring in his harvest he's about to work the field we're about to switch from the red horse in Zechariah when there's peace to the red horse in Revelation when there's war when he opened the second seal I heard the second living creature say come and see another horse fiery red went out and it was granted to the one who sat on it to take peace from the earth and that people should kill one another and there was given to him a great sword Revelation 6 3-4 after Yom Kippur this year the red horse will ride Babylon will fall the Malhama al Kubra is what the Muslims know it as they know it as the great war al Malhama the great war and they've been projecting this for a long time the 2017 card death nuclear explosion more famine, more pestilence Babylon USA falls at the riding of the red horse and then we'll intensify the black horse, famine and the pale horse, death because Satan wants to take as many people to hell as possible now believer you must understand that you are already saved you will not see death there are so many people out there who will see death it's a serious matter their eternal salvation is on the line have mercy on them somebody had mercy on you and evangelized to you before you became a Christian now you have to put yourself out there if Jesus had not come and died for us we would be headed for hell as well so we have to be ready to die for others they've been projecting it notice the four horsemen of the apocalypse at the end of the path Theresa May driving her UK to a hard Brexit which basically signifies that death of the UK, the end of their economy. That's why you have the vulture waiting there to consume them once they die. Notice that the red horse is the one who's highlighted. Notice that he's got the crown of the Statue of Liberty on his head. He's holding a sword. Notice he's wearing a face mask. So they're telling you at the time when the world is still gagged wearing face masks the red horse will ride and it will have something to do with an event that will take place in New York where the Statue of Liberty is do you get it? when Babylon USA is attacked peace is taken from the earth that's what they're telling you the red horse is about to ride prepare people prepare because once the red horse rides they're going to come after the Christians because you have to understand the world is in rebellion so remember what Jesus said for as in the days before the flood they were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and did not know until the flood came and took them all away so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Matthew 24, verse 38, 39. So, what was it like in the days of Noah? What was the timing of the days of Noah? 
Now remember that in the days of Noah, Tishri was still the first month, Nisan was the seventh. Okay? It was during the Exodus that the Lord changed the calendar and made Nisan the first month. Okay? So when you read about the story of Noah, when it gives you a timing, it, it's it's coming from the perspective of Tishri being the first month. So we know Tishri is around September. Yeah? So it says on the seventeenth day of the second month when Noah was six hundred years old, so which is the equivalent of the fourth of November twenty twenty, the springs under the earth broke through the ground, and water flowed over everywhere. The sky also opened like windows, and rain poured down. The rain fell on the earth for forty days and forty nights. So, is this an indication that the wars will begin around the 4th of November, the 5th of November? Is this when the chaos will begin? Of course, it would have started right after Yom Kippur, because I believe after Yom Kippur, the economy will start to slide. Um inflation will start to really take hold because of all the stimulus checks that have been sent out globally the prices of food will rise astronomically after Yom Kippur and then the 13th of December 2020 is the equivalent of the 40th day which is when it's stopped raining so could this be an indication that the worst of the war would have ended by this day? The 13th of December 2020? Yeah. If it'll be as it was in the days of Noah, something tells me it will be. The waters continue to cover the earth for 150 days, which brings us to the 2nd of April 2021 a day before the end of Passover 5781 which will make perfect sense but you see instead of the world or the ark well the ark would have touched down in heaven that's Jesus and and us because on the 23rd of March 2021 the Lord will take his own away from the world and then on the 30th of March the um, fiery red dragon planet X will cross the earth's orbit and bring down rain of fire on, on the earth which will destroy Gog of Magog and those who dwell carelessly in the isles that's Babylon, that's a double whammy remember Babylon is going to get a double portion of destruction so it's, it's going to get um, decimated in November through to December by war and then in March or the end of March the rain of hail fiery hailstones just like it did on Sodom and Gomorrah then the ark rested on the 17th day of the 7th month the 600th year of Noah's life which is the equivalent of our 30th of March. So as we are resting in the heavenly Yerushalayim, more severe judgment is coming upon the earth. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven. You notice how everything is burning up? California, see, do you see what's happening there? The earthquakes increasing, tornadoes. Yeah, it's it's happening because of the fiery red dragon. It's getting closer. So burning like an oven, and all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly will be stubble. And the day which is coming shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts. That will leave them neither root nor branch but to you who fear my name 
the son of righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings the son of righteousness okay what do you think that's talking about it's talking about the lord's tabernacle it's talking about the red fiery dragon because it's bringing along with it the lord's tabernacle and you shall go out and grow fat like stall-fed calves malachi 4 verse 1 and 2 their line has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world in them he has set a tabernacle for the sun you see tabernacle for the sun the sun of righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings tabernacle for the sun so this tabernacle has wings okay which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices like a strong man to run its race its rising is from one end of heaven and its circuit to the other end and there is nothing hidden from its heat so you see this fiery red dragon is blazing hot and as it gets closer to the earth the earth will burn the earth will burn that's why after the rapture and in the book of in during the time of Jacob's trouble it says one of the woes is that you know the sun will be allowed to scorch the sons of men it's not talking about the sun our sun it's talking about this sun this sun of righteousness this tabernacle for the sun because there's nothing hidden from its heat you see this fiery red dragon is said to have like wings because it has a ruddy glow around it because of all the iron oxide that it emits and that is why those who know that it's coming will tell you that when you see the rain of blood on the earth know that the destroyer has arrived because the iron oxide will come into the, the earth's atmosphere and it'll cause blood rain okay uh, it, this is a seal on the on the right hand side that's a seal that was uh, discovered uh, now this seal was used during the time of King Hezekiah notice that there is a planet with wings um, on it remember what was said uh, Malachi the son of righteousness will will rise with healing in its wings it's, it's because when this planet arrives it looks like it has wings that's why it's described like that in the Bible okay this is the planet that caused the Sun to go backwards uh, the, the to, uh, that affected the rotation of the earth during the time of King Hezekiah the fire red dragon the 20th of March 2020 marked the beginning of the end of the age the day the bridegroom came out from behind the sun to run a race which will last till the 20th of March 2021 and his arrival after which the bride will be rescued three days later on the 23rd of March 2021 Yom Ha after which it will cross the path of earth and rain down the fiery hailstones destroy Gog of Magog and destroy those who did dwell carelessly in the isle that is why they don't want you to terroir that is why they don't want you to shout so brothers and sisters it's time to terroir shout shout as loudly as you can bring as many people as possible to the lord everyone you see walking around who doesn't have jesus christ is destined for hell let that sink in they're destined to go to hell that's what the word says so it is our duty to terroir we have to terroir the time is short after yom terroir after yom kippur this year they're going to come after the christians as judgment falls as the chaos rises as the rebellion increases they're going to come after Christians 
they are going to come after Christians and they're going to kill as many as possible the flood is coming but in that flood will be the greatest revival and the greatest harvesting of souls that has ever occurred because God will bring in his harvest and he will bring it in through his church um, so that's my message to you people I love you God loves you he's left you here for such a time as this don't be afraid don't be afraid you will soon be in the heavenly Yerushalayim and everything everything that you experience will pale into insignificance when you compare it to the glory to the glory <laughs> to the glory that you will soon experience you will soon be transformed yes there are challenging times coming but remember the Lord is the Lord of the flood be still when the oceans rise and thunders roar we will soar with him above the storms because we know father you are king over the flood and we will be still and know that he is God so terroir terroir I love you people. Shalom.